Hello once again, welcome to Mimo's Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful handbag here. So for this bag we use the cluster stitch, okay, this one, and then at the bottom we use single crochet. Okay, so this is a very simple bag to crochet, even if you're a crochet beginner, I'm going to show you how to crochet it step by step. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscription button below. So let's see what we're going to need for us to crochet this bag. So for this bag, you're going to need macrame. This one here is three millimeter thick macrame cord, polyester macrame. However, you can use any other type of yarn that you have that is a bit thick, like close to this size. Okay. You're also going to need a scissors, a sewing thread, a needle, and this is for attaching uh, this this snap here to the bag. Okay. You're also going to need and handmade tag but this is optional if you don't have it you're also going to need a crochet hook this one corresponds to the size of yarn that i'm going to be using and it's a four millimeter crochet hook you're also going to need a tapestry needle and six stitch markers so let's begin so you're going to begin with a chain of 13 so i'm going to begin with my slip knot wrap your yarn around your hand like this and then grab your yarn Okay, so this is my slip knot, and then I'm going to chain 13. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we now have 13 chains here. Okay, so to begin the first row, we're going to be crocheting in US terms. And it's going to be single crochet. So I'm going to skip this first stitch, this first chain from the hook, and then insert into the second one, grab my yarn, pull through, yarn over, and then pull through. So this is my first single crochet. And then the next one, insert, pick up a loop, yarn over, and then pull through. Again, insert through. And then pull through okay so i'm going to continue with single crochet up until i'm at the end here okay so here i finished the first row and if you count your stitches here we have 12 stitches so i'm going to maintain those 12 stitches okay so next at the end you chain one this is a turning chain and does not count as a stitch okay this one it's a turning chain so for the second row i'm going to insert my hook Below these two loops at the top here, okay. So I insert here, okay. Grab my yarn, pull through, and over, and then pull through, okay. So that's my first single crochet for the second row. Again, like that, okay, like that. So I'm going to continue up until I'm at the end of the row here. So here at the end, make sure that you crochet into the very last stitch, okay? So that you maintain the same number of stitches as well as straight edges, okay? Like that. So here I still have 12 stitches. So for the next row, I chain one and then we turn, okay? Again, you begin into the very first stitch. And then you work one single crochet into the next one single crochet okay so we're going to repeat the second row that we just did putting one single crochet okay up until the row is done and then at the end of the row you chain one and then you turn so here we already have two rows we're going to continue up until we have 30 rows and then come back Welcome back. So we now have 30 rows here. So if you are to measure the length, okay, this is going to be our best. So it's about slightly above 22 centimeters. And then the width is uh, 10 centimeters. So if you want to increase the, the base of your bag, you can keep on adding rows. Okay. So now we want to mark here the first stitch of the last row that we did. Okay. So I'm going to mark this stitch like this and then we want to crochet right round okay up until we're back here so here you're going to be putting 
one single crochet for each row okay so these are our rows so along the edges here you put one single crochet for each corresponding row and then at each corner you put two single crochets okay so here i'm already at this corner here so I have, i've put this one i'm going to put another single crochet like this okay and then here for the next row this one you just find somewhere to insert your hook okay so here you can insert here or you can just insert here and then put one single crochet like this okay for the next row this one one single crochet okay like that and then for the next one this one i'm just going to insert here and then single crochet okay for the next one one single crochet like this okay so i'm going to continue along these edges let's meet at this corner here i'm almost at the corner here so for this one i'm going to put one single crochet like that and then here you find that we have the spaces okay this ones okay so that's where we're going to put our single crochet okay this was our first row okay when we started so i'm going to insert my hook here and then i'm going to put two single crochets since it is a corner there again in the same space like this okay and then i'm going to continue okay setting hook here like that and the next one single crochet okay again one single crochet okay so i'm going to continue and then at this corner again i'm going to put two single crochets here and then we continue putting one 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 up until we're back here welcome back so i've done single crochet right round and now we are back here okay this is our starting point so here my the total number of my stitches is 84 okay and at this point you want to make sure that your the total number of your stitches is in the multiples of two okay so 84 is fine in case you have 85 or you have 83 you just add one more stitch here okay so that your total number of stitches is in the multiples of two okay so here we want to crochet slip stitch right round again up until we're back here so i'm going to remove the stitch marker here then i'm going to insert my hook below these two loops okay grab my yarn pull through and then pull through again okay so i'm going to mark this stitch here that we just did like this okay and then in the following stitch i'm going to put again slip stitch grab your yarn pull through and then pull through again in the next pull through and then pull through again okay so this is our slip stitch so i'm going to repeat this right round okay doing the slip stitch up until we're back here at the starting point okay so let's do that let's meet back here welcome back so i've done slip stitch right round okay so this is the bag the best of our bag and if you turn you'll find that we have three loops on the side here that's one two and then three okay so now we're going to start crocheting the sides of the bag and for the first round of the sides we're going to be inserting our hook in the back loop okay we have one two three okay so we'll be inserting in this back loop only okay so now here at the end i'm going to join with a slip stitch so I'm going to come here so this is the first stitch let's remove the stitch marker here um and then you come so here you find that we have this loop then the second and then the third okay so i'm going to come here and then i'm going to join with a slip stitch like this okay so this slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch okay and then i'm going to chain three so this chain three counts as my first double crochet okay so that's one 
sorry, two, and then three, okay? So we're going to make a cluster of double crochet. So since we already have this first double crochet, it, the first one here is going to have two double crochets only. So I yarn over, set my hook in the back loop, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only, like this, okay? Two loops on the hook. Yarn over again, set into the same stitch, pick up a loop, like that. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops on the hook, like this. Three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the three loops, like this, and then we chain one. Okay, so this is my first cluster, okay, of double crochets. So next, I'm going to skip this stitch. Yarn over, skip this stitch, and then move into the next one. In the back loop only, pick up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, like that. Yarn over again, insert, pick up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, like that. We now have two incomplete double crochets. This one's yarn over again to do the third one. Set and then pull through five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops like this. Okay, so we now have one, two, three uh, incomplete double crochets. Okay, so for to finish off, you yarn over, pull through all the four loops like this, and then you chain one. Okay, so we have the first cluster, and then this is the second. Let's do the third one, yarn over. Remember to skip a stitch and then we come in here. Let's do the first incomplete double crochet. That one. Yarn over, reset, pick up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops like this. Again, the third one, insert, pick up a loop, five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now we have three incomplete double crochets one two three okay next we yarn over pull through all the four loops on the hook and then we chain one okay like this so now we have three clusters one two and then three so going to repeat skip a stitch and then put a cluster here repeat that right round making sure that you're inserting your hook in the back loop only okay let's meet back here at the starting point Welcome back. So now we're back and this is my first round of the sides. Okay. With the cluster stitch. So here at the end, I chained one. I'm left with one stitch here. So I'm going to skip it. This one here is the slip stitch that we did. It doesn't count as a stitch. Okay. So just skip the last stitch and then you come in the middle. So we have this first one and then the second one at the top of the second one. Okay. So this one, and then you come here. Then you join with a slip stitch like this. Okay. So next we're going to be inserting our hook in these gaps here. Okay. So here I'm going to come again, insert my hook here, grab my yarn, pull through, and then make another slip stitch. Okay, we're doing this so that our hook is pos positioned at the place that we want it to be, okay? So this place. So next, I'm going to start the second round. I'm going to chain three. That's one, two, and then three. Okay, so this is the first double crochet for my first cluster. So I yarn over, okay? I'm going to set through the gap, pick up a loop, and over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over again, insert through the gap, pick up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, okay? Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and then we chain one, okay? So this is my first cluster. So for my second, I yarn over, and then I come through the gap, the gap between these two clusters, okay? This one, this one, okay? So that's where we're going to be setting our hook. So for the next cluster, pick up a loop, yarn over, 
Codru, insert, and we'll pull through the first two loops. Okay, again. Like that. Okay, now I have three uh, incomplete double crochets. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, and then chain one. Okay, so this is the first, and then this is the second. Okay, so we're going to repeat putting our clusters, uh, inserting our hook through these gaps. Okay, and then crochet these clusters just like we did here. So let's do that right round. Let's meet towards the end here. Welcome back. So we've done the second round. Okay. And here we're left with this last space here. Okay. This is the starting point. So I'm going to do the last cluster. Okay. That's it. The second double crochet. Next. Pick up. So pick up the loop, okay, three double crochets here, yarn over, and then pull through, and then chain one, okay, so to finish off the round, I'm going to come, this is the first DC, the second at the top, and set my hook, and then make a slip stitch, okay, like that, and then set again here in the next gap grab your yarn then make another slip stitch like this okay so we have finished the second round okay so for the next round again you chain three one two three then you put the cluster in the gap one Two, and over, and then pull through, chain one. Okay, this is what we did with the previous round. So, we're going to repeat again. Next, you insert your hook in this gap. Okay, putting clusters there. Okay, so just repeat the second round. The second round that we just did, this one. Okay, up until you have a total of twelve rounds, and then come back. Welcome back. So we now have twelve rounds. Okay, so this is our bag. Okay, so one now to fold uh, the sides of the bags. Okay, to give it a nice shape. So what you're going to do here is you're going to lay your bag flat. Make sure that it is it is flat, and then here at the base, at the base is divided equally, like like this. Okay. The half side of the base is this side, and then the half side is this side. So just lay it flat, like this. Okay. So I want to mark stitches where we're going to fold our bag inwards, okay? So here I'm going to come along the edge here. And then I'm going to put one stitch marker here, okay? So I'm going to mark this one, okay? And then you repeat again this other side. I'm going to mark this one that is along the edge, okay? So depending on the size of your bag, I want to bag, I want to fold my bag inwards like this. So you decide how many stitches you want to skip here. Okay. So it's for me here. I'm going to count six stitches. Okay. We have this one that is marked. So I'm going to count beginning in the next following stitch from this one that is marked. Okay. So I'm going to count six stitches and then I mark. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to mark this one. And then I repeat again this side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, like this. Okay. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker here. Okay, and then I repeat again this side. I count six stitches starting in this one. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to include the, the slip stitch here, four, five, six, okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, no, no, this, this is not it, this one, okay, it's 
six. Then we repeat the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we remove this one. So our last round is going to be slip stitch. So I'm going to continue here. So I'm going to remove the stitch mark and then put it back, okay? So here, I'm going to insert my hook below the stitch, okay? Remember, we were putting in this gap, but now you're going to come then you're going to insert here, okay? And then you're going to do one slip stitch. Like that. So I'm going to mark this one. And then I'm going to continue with slip stitch, the next stitch, like this. Okay. So you're going to be inserting your hook below the two loops of each stitch, okay? Like this one, okay, this one, like this. This is our slip stitch. So I'm going to continue. Let's meet in this stitch. Okay, so here we're now at the stitch mark. So I'm going to remove the stitch mark and then we're going to put one stitch slip stitch in that stitch like this okay and then we're going to skip all these stitches in between and then we're going to put another slip stitch in this marked stitch okay Okay, so you're going to come in the stitch that is marked, and then you're going to do one slip stitch. Okay, so let's remove the stitch marker here. Okay, then you set your hook, grip your yarn, and then you work a slip stitch like this. Okay, so we have folded the side. Okay, so I'm going to continue uh, with slip stitch. Okay, let's meet in this stitch. So here again, we repeat what we did the other side. We want to skip these stitches. So I'm going to put one slip stitch in this one. And then we skip all of these stitches. And then we put another slip stitch in this one. Okay. So remember this one, we already did put another slip stitch. So it's still fine. Going to come, then you can set your hook below the front loops like that, and then you're going to make a slip stitch like this. Okay, so here we are back at the starting point, so I'm going to cut here. So I want to fasten off here. Set your hook, your needle here, and then back here. Okay, like this. So next, you hide the tail inside the bag. Making sure that it is not visible on the right side here. So 
so here you can use either a lighter or glue okay just to hold this tail in place okay so i'm just going to cut here okay so this is our bag okay so now i want to make the handle okay so i'm going to check my yarn and we're going to make um a romanian cord okay for our handle so just leave a tail here wrap your yarn around your hand and then we're going to chain two okay this is a slip knot so that's one and then two okay so i'm going to go back into the skip this first chain and then insert into the second chain grab my yarn pull through yarn over and pull through both loops okay so you find that here we have this small loop here so i'm going to turn then i'm, I'm going to insert into that small loop grab my yarn pull through that loop like this grab my yarn pull through both loops on the hook so we now have two small loops at the back these ones i'm going to turn again and then i'm going to insert my hook into those two back loops these ones pick up a loop okay two loops on the hook yarn over and then pull through okay again i repeat i turn insert my hook into these two Two loops on the hook and over and then pull through okay so just going to repeat this process up until you have your desired length of handle okay and then pull through okay so this is my cord so far so i'm just going to repeat that and then come back welcome back so this is my handle and it is one meter long so if you want a longer handle you just keep on crocheting your handle okay so here at the end okay i'm going to leave a tail okay then i'm going to cut so here pull out okay so this one here we're just going to fasten it off okay but we're going to use this one to, to join the handles together okay so next i'm going to insert my my end into a tapestry needle but before we join, we want to insert the handle onto the bag, okay? So we're going to take your bag, okay? So here, we want to insert our handle through these gaps between the clusters, okay? So here, I'm going to take my handle, okay? So here, from the edge, I'm going to count two clusters, so that's one, two, okay? And I'm going to do the same on the side okay so from here i'm going to count one two so through this gap i'm going to insert my handle okay and then from this side again one two clusters and then through this gap at the top okay so make sure that your handle is not twisted okay again i'm going to come the side again so there's one two cluster and then in between here i'm going to insert again and then again this side one cluster two clusters so through this gap okay so before we join the handle just make sure that your your handle is not twisted okay And it's the same this other side. 
Okay, so next we are going to join. Okay. Okay, so you can either put glue here, okay, just to make sure that you keep the tails in place, okay. So this is our handle, okay. So this join here, it's a bit bumpy than the, uh, the rest of the handle. So we're going to put it here, okay. So Okay, so this is our handle and it's done. Okay, so now we are going to put the handmade tag here as well as this magnetic clasp here. Okay. This is the middle point, okay. So next, we're going to join this one. Okay, so this is in place now. Okay, so this is our bag and it is done. 
okay and if you want you can line the inside of the bag with lining and put a zipper at the top here okay so this is a nice and simple bag okay thank you for watching Miriam's crafts please do subscribe like and comment for more videos thank you